Hi, everybody. This is Patty Negri. Welcome to The Witching Hour. I have a great guest for you today, tonight, this afternoon, this morning, whenever it is you are listening or watching, it's The Witching Hour. Emily Carding, the author of this beautiful combining Shakespeare magic and witchcraft book called So Potent Art. But before I introduce you to Emily, where's Patty? Yep. What if you are listening to this in the first week when we first drop, which is the week of Monday, January 17th, 2022, Patty is home in Hollywood, but I've still got stuff to do. Patty is home in Hollywood, no travel for a a week or two yet, Um, but there is places we can hang out together on Tuesday. Okay, tomorrow, and there's still room because we let people, I'm doing my magical weight loss class. Because many of us start diets at the beginning of the new year. Many of us might overindulge a little through the holidays. So I have this self-proven way to combine, yes, all the stuff we know we have to do, the diet and the exercise, and but with magic to make it easy, to make it fun, and to make it too effective. So it's really great. Um, you could just go to universitymagicus.com, Patty's weight loss class. It's inexpensive. Tomorrow night. Tuesday the 18th. On Sunday, I am doing, not through my school, I'm doing a seance. You guys can come because wherever you are, it's through Victor Wind at the last Tuesday Society in the UK. I mean, you'll be wherever your computer or laptop is. But what's really fun about the shows I do with Victor is that it's based out of the UK. So it really is an international audience. So the few of us here, we keep it pretty intimate sitting on that little zoom screen together. Again, a lot are in the UK, they're in Canada, they're Australia, they're here. So, um, I'm used to an international audience with my school, but it's even more international because it's based elsewhere. I have posted that on my, all my social media, um, last Tuesday society seance, It's a great chance. Everybody gets a chance to ask for their loved one, their beloved. I, of course, can't guarantee that mom will come, grandma will come, but we have a pretty good track record um, of somebody coming and usually the person you ask for. (laughs) 